an era of skyrocketing home prices and the lack of housing, some people are getting creative when it comes to buying and building a place to live. And this week's Montana Made, MTN's Justine Stewart, shows us how a Missoula company is offering them something different in the form of yurts. You may have seen them at ski resorts or while planning that glamping vacation at some exotic location. But yurts have been around for centuries. Essentially, it's a portable round tent traditionally used as dwellings in Central Asia. Now, with some modern upgrades, yurt living is catching on across the globe and right here in Montana. The owners of Shelter Designs in Missoula, Vince Godby and Hayes Daniel, are in the thick of this growing, sustainable and affordable living trend. We've definitely seen yurts go from being kind of like a, a fringe, misunderstood, maybe you say, what is a ski area, but you're not really sure about it, to really moving more towards the mainstream and being accepted. Daniel and Godby started building yurts 10 years ago out of necessity. They simply needed a place to live. Then they started building them for friends, and it just grew from there. We have them as far away as up above the Arctic Circle in Norway for a kayaking camp. We have them in Tasmania, Alaska, all over North America, Europe. Shelter Designs produces up to 80 yurts a year. Half of those are for full-time residences. It's not as easy as it was to get $300,000 for a house, you know, and so people can really, instead of uh, getting into a mortgage for 20 or 30 years, they can just pay for it and be done and be comfortable. The other half are for commercial businesses or maybe resorts looking to create that unique experience for guests. They are hot, they get rented all the time and they cost a fraction of what building cabins would. So I mean people look at a cabin, they go to a resort and they look at a cabin, they live in a house, they're like well I, I know what that is but what is that? And then they're, they want to rent the yurt. Whatever the use, shelter designs can accommodate. The yurt can become whatever you want, but it's very common for people once the yurt is up to frame interior walls to make bedrooms and kitchens and bathrooms and uh, wire and plumb everything like you would a, a, a traditional home. Almost all of the products used to create the yurts are from the intermounted northwest and right here in Montana. The unique thing about the eco yurt model is that we do use small diameter uh, lodgepole pine rafters that are sourced right around the Missoula area here. Once the yurts are made, they are shipped off to clients in the form of a kit with detailed instructions on how to put it together. It is a project, no matter even the smallest yurt. I mean, it's, it's, it's not quite like pitching a tent. But it seems to be something most customers and their neighbors are embracing. One thing that the yurts do that, that used to be kind of common in our culture that maybe isn't anymore is the idea of a barn raising like where everybody in the community can come together and you don't have to be a good carpenter necessarily or a plumber or an electrician or you don't have to know the trades. Uh, if you can lend a hand, you're useful. So it's all the strongest shapes in nature. So they're, uh, they're, they're pretty cool structures like that. In Missoula, Justine Stewart, MTN News.